I could only have four coats of this 11 rack, I'm gonna, okay. Oh my gosh, drum roll, okay. Hello my beloved friends, I hope you're having a beautiful winter day. I am freezing and today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you my 11 picks for winter coats. This is my winter wardrobe, but you don't have to feel like you have to have all of these. I just wanna give you an idea of the colors that are really uh, anchoring my personal wardrobe and really giving me all the chic, sophisticated vibes while keeping me warm this winter. Let's jump right in. The first coat is a bone color coat that I got at Zara. I want to encourage you to have a light coat, but if you're anything like me, maybe you're a little terrified that you're gonna spill your coffee on it. I wanted something at a really, really low price point, just in case. This one is really nice because it's a very long coat. It's an oversized fit, and I just love the way that it looks. Cream coats make everything look so chic and elevated, and this time of the year, I feel like I'm starting to feel like I want to dress in lighter colors, so I don't know. Comment below, let me know. Are you feeling that pull to pulling out your lighter colors? The next coat I think would be a really beautiful staple piece in your wardrobe is a baby blue coat. I know that's so odd, but it is such a good color to have. It is in the cool tone, so it'll go well with, oh my gosh, this paired with brown would look so good. This paired with all uh, cream would look so good. This with a pop of red would look so good. Next coat staple for your winter wardrobe is this beautiful khaki or camel colored coat. I got this a really long time ago. It's This you can get as an oversized coat. This one is a little bit more of a fitted one to my body, but I really do enjoy having this. If I could go back in time, I would get one in a more oversized feel because that's kind of the trend now, but you know what? Trends come and go. But the color specifically, it just goes so well with everything my wardrobe Wardrobe. I have a very neutral and basics wardrobe and just pulling this out putting this on just makes me feel nice and put together a gray coat just gives you a nice versatility it goes with a lot of different colors it goes with blacks and whites and man if you wear a lot of prints and you put a nice little coat like this over a beautiful dress like that would be so lovely I love that this one has pockets I will be linking everything down below for you all of these coats are super old <laughs> and I will leave some affordable pieces and some more higher end or luxury pieces for you. The next coat that I have is an emerald green coat. This one is so beautiful. I love the color. Emerald green is not a color that I believe has to be in your wardrobe. I just want you to take a peek at this is one of my favorite colors. So maybe gravitate towards your favorite color and incorporate that in your coat closet. I do love having this because I feel like sometimes I'm just like either I don't know what color goes well with the outfit and sometimes just putting a color that's like the opposite <laughs> of what you're wearing, um, it just looks good. And sometimes you just don't wanna go for the neutrals, you know? Sometimes you wanna be wild and colorful. Avi, a black coat is gonna be a thing that we put in a winter's wardrobe. This one is so small, you guys. I had it when I was a little thinner and it still fits, but I can't really wear it now if I wear like a chunkier sweater, like it doesn't really fit. Um, but I still have it. I can wear it if I wear just very thin layers. If I could go back in time, I would get the black coat in a longer version in a more oversized fit just because it would go with more and I wouldn't limit myself to having to be, you know, uh, cinched <laughs> every single time I wore the black coat. So I'm gonna be waiting uh, for those sales to go live this year and purchasing a bigger fit uh, black coat for myself. This brown coat has been such a delightful piece to have in the wardrobe. It's been so sweet. It's oversized, it's warm. It just feels so good. Um, I love the color. I love the richness of the brown. I think it makes any skin tone look so good. I love brown. It just, ah, it just feels great. This one starts getting a lot of use for me when it starts getting really cold after the fall, like in the, you know, in those months when it's like dark and dreary. Two jackets for walks and runs or going out um, to the snow or something. Um, I have this one. It's a little puffy jacket. I love it. It's not like, like if we go to the snow, I have to wear lots of layers and then I can pop this on. This one I just got the other day. This one's so thin. It's more of a waterproof jacket that I love the length of. I love it over leggings. It is so 
nice. I feel like this one is going to be something I gravitate towards a lot, especially with spring coming into play. Another winter coat that I have been loving has been this puffy brown jacket. This one is more of a cropped fit and it just, it's so, so squishy and it feels like a pillow. I feel so nice in it. I really love wearing it with jeans. I love wearing it um, when I go to the gym and I just need to throw something on top. And I got the same puffy jacket but in a gorgeous emerald green color. I'm telling you I love emerald green. I just... This jacket is so nice. It really is very, very warm. This one I just got on sale at Abercrombie. I had eyed this one for the entire season they abercrombie came out with this in uh, in the fall time 2022 but it was 200 dollars. so i said to myself just wait wait and the other day i walked into abercrombie and for sure she was on sale for 60 bucks and i was like yes ma'am thank you patience is a virtue and i haven't had it always <laughs> but it paid off in this situation. Friend, I just want to encourage you. I know times are hard right now. We're all in season of, I think, reevaluating where our money is going. And I hope that you are being mindful of your dollars. Uh, I believe that nothing is worth having credit card debt over. It, it will never satisfy. The, I know for me, I used to have a huge shopping addiction and it would, it would envelop my identity. It would make me feel like I was trapped, trapped. It felt like a trap. Every time I would go and spend on my credit card, I would feel all this guilt and then the, the bill would come and I'd be so ashamed of just not having self-control and not feeling like I had any say over my, my situation. But I wanna encourage you that if I can change in that way, so can you. We have to be mindful of the money that comes into our hands because that money is God's money. He is gifting it to us for a reason. So I want you to take this video with a grain of salt. Definitely 11 coats isn't something that everybody needs. For me, it's been a collection of, uh, of time. Obviously, these are not even like fancy coats, right? But anyone can feel like, oh my gosh, she has so many coats. Or it, it depends on who you are and where you've come from. I don't want to I don't want to aggravate the feeling of like you have to go and get stuff in you but I also don't want to not share with you what works for me and this winter coat wardrobe has worked really well for me if I could only have four coats of this 11 rack I'm gonna okay oh my gosh drum roll okay it would be this I would have black camel light blue color and a gray I think these four would really suit different outfits, different colors, different um, situations. So if that is what you're looking for, maybe a more even edited down version of my 11 coats, these would be the four coats that I would pick if I had to, okay? All right, my friends, that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please, please, please know that you are loved. God loves you so much. You are his son or daughter and you are beloved beyond your wildest imagination. I will see you in the next video, God willing. Adiós.